Welcome to the Greenfoot Asteroids tutorial. We're going to start by loading the asteroid scenario. So to do that, we're going to go over to Scenario, Open, and uh, we're going to be in Chapter 1, and we're going to load this scenario asteroids. We're going to get you familiar with this game enough to answer some of the questions that are in your textbook. So let's first start off by looking at what a rocket looks like. So I'm going to come over here to the rocket class. I'm going to right mouse click, create a new rocket, and put it on the screen. And when I run the game, we see that the rocket already starts with a little forward momentum. If I press the left arrow key, I can turn the rocket the other direction. If I want to go forward, I can press the up key, which provides thrust. And you can see I can get the rocket going pretty good here. If I want to slow the rocket down, I'm going to have to face in the other direction and add some thrust to slow the rocket down. I'm going to reset the game now. We're going to talk a little bit about the asteroids. So let's go to the left arrow, uh, left mouse key again. Let's try this one here. It says new asteroid. This will create a default asteroid of this size. And if we run this, you'll see that the asteroid has its own momentum that it starts off with. Inertia, I guess I should call it. Uh, let's add another asteroid. We're going to make a bigger asteroid now, so this time we're going to go right mouse click, but we're going to click on this one instead. And when I put it down, it asks how big we want it to be. Now, the default asteroid is of size 6, but the asteroid that we're going to create will make twice as big, so we'll create an asteroid with size 128, and that's the asteroid right there. Now, if you want to look inside the code of the asteroid, let's look in here. We can see that by default, if you don't specify the size, the asteroid is of size 64. That's the 64 uh, right over here. Now when we put together the asteroids and the rocket, let's create a rocket, put the rocket on here, and let's run the game. And you'll notice if the asteroid hits the rocket, the uh, rocket's going to blow up here. So we don't want that to happen, so we would typically run away. And furthermore, we can shoot the shoot the, uh, you can see why I teach computer science instead of playing video games for a living. Uh, let's, uh, let's see if we can uh, take some shots at this asteroid here. And you can see that if I hit the asteroid, uh, the asteroid will get eventually cut in half or break up into smaller pieces. And if you hit the smaller pieces, eventually the asteroids will go away altogether. So now we are going to be challenged with answering some questions in this game, and I'm going to give you some hints now on that. So the first question that's asked is, can we make the gun fire more rapidly? So to do that, let's have a look here at the rocket. I'm going to double click on this class. And here comes the rocket class, and our goal is to try and figure out of the variables that are here in uh, rocket, you can see the instance variables right here, which one do you think controls the speed at which the gun fires? And what is it set to initially? And should we increase the value or decrease the value to make the gun fire faster? So I'm going to let you think about that. The second question in your assignment is to figure out how many times the gun has been fired while you're playing. So let's say I create a rocket over here, and I start the game, and I fire the gun a few times, and I stop the game, and now I want to figure out how many times has the gun fired already. So if I hover over the rocket, and then I do a right mouse click, there's some methods I can call right over here to get information from the rocket. And your goal is to call one of those methods and figure out how many shots has been fired. Another question that's asked is how fast does the rocket go when you first set it up and get it running? So to do that, let's create a new rocket right over here. Let's run the, ro run the game. And you can see that the rocket initially has some speed. And your goal is to try to figure out what is that initial speed. And once again, to do that, you're going to have to look in the rocket code here and try and figure that out. The next question they ask is about the asteroids. If you look here and create a new asteroid, you'll see that the asteroid has a stability factor built into it and they want to know for a default asteroid what is that stability factor and how much does it go down by each time it's hit by a bullet. 
So to figure out the answer to that, you're going to have to study the asteroid class as well as the bullet class and try and figure out how many shots you need to destroy a default size asteroid. Then figure out if you start with a bigger asteroid. Let's say I start one with twice the size. Is it going to have more stability or is it going to have the same amount of stability as a smaller one? You have to figure that out.